the biggest disease in this country is unhappiness. And the reason why people are unhappy is that they're focusing on what they don't have. They're focusing on what was taken. They're not appreciating what it is that they do have. They're, they're creating mindsets that, that signify, I'll be happy when this happens. I'll be happy when I achieve the goal. I'll be happy when I make more money. I'll be happy when I get married. I'll be happy when I get a divorce. But that one I can understand. Okay, that's cool. <laughs> Here's a perfect example. The biggest lesson I ever learned in my life about what can happen if you put your happiness on hold. I want you to follow me on this story. Years ago, in the middle of my comedy career, I was headlining Rodney Dangerfield's Comedy Club every weekend for a year. And that's when Rodney was at the pinnacle of his career. He was voted one of the top three recognizable faces in the country. He was voted the number one comedian on the planet. He was on The Tonight Show every other week. He had a movie that was out that was rated a 9 or a 10 by the critics. And one Saturday night, I'm walking off the stage, and who comes walking through the stage but Rodney himself. And the crowd went absolutely ballistic. It was deafening in that room. Rodney, Rodney, Rodney. And he's walking through the crowd. Hey, how you doing? All right, okay, baby, all right, I love you. Hey, all right, yeah, you know, okay. And he goes up on stage, he stands there, waits for the audience to die down, has total command, and he's doing new material, 10 minutes of new material for his new HBO special. He goes to walk off, and they wouldn't let him leave. And they're screaming, you're number one, you're number one, and he's trying to get off, and women are hugging him and kissing him, they're asking for his autograph. People are still screaming, and I remember standing in the back of the room, and I'm leaning up against the wall, and they said, oh man, this is what it's like to be a star. This guy has the world in the palm of his hands. And that's when I realized, sometimes having the world in the palm of your hands isn't what's important. What's important are the choices that you're making as you're holding it. The night was over, the crowd was gone, the doors were locked, the wait staff was cleaning up. I'm sitting next to Rodney at the bar as I always did. I remember I went up to him, I gave him a big kiss on the cheek and I said, hey man, how does it feel to be a star? He downed a double scotch, looked at me square in the face and said, well, I'll tell you, Stevie, it sucks. And I thought he was kidding. And I was waiting for the punchline and there wasn't one. And he went on a verbal tantrum on how his life is miserable and how the entertainment industry destroyed his life because he should have made it 40 years ago when he was younger, when he could have enjoyed himself. I looked at him and said, you, you just rated the number one comedian on the planet. Most comedians now at your age, people don't even know who they are. You're at the pinnacle of your career. You have a movie that's a 10. Didn't you hear that crowd? You're a household name. They love you. He said, I don't expect you to understand. All I know is that I sacrificed everything. My happiness, my family, my kids for this moment. And I can't even enjoy it. The biggest lesson I ever learned in my life. Here's a guy that should have been living his dream, but instead he was living a nightmare. All because years ago, and I want you to understand this, he created a mindset that literally, and he probably wasn't even aware that he created this mindset, he created a mindset that literally caused him to believe, that signified that he won't be happy until he reaches a certain status in life. It was a self-fulfilling prophecy. The irony here is that even when he did achieve the goal, he couldn't enjoy himself. And here's why. If your journey towards whatever goal that you're trying to achieve is polluted with negative emotion or energy of any kind, you're only going to create the same result when the goal is achieved because that negativity comes with you. Listen to me, there is no reason why you can't enjoy achieving the goal, the process of whatever it is you're doing on the journey, don't wait for the goal to be achieved. If you can do that, that's the ultimate success because you'll have a profound appreciation on how you earned it.